Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. Today on the agenda, first of all, we gotta harvest these radishes, harvest some tomatoes, and also harvest some spinach in the basement. And then we gotta hightail it over to the bazaar, because boy, do we have a lot of stuff to sell. In addition to that, uh, this Monday, we're going to be trying to trigger an event with Angelo at the cafe called The Lady Killer. It doesn't have nearly as narrow of a window as, uh, say, Isaac's Diet does, but it's still only a two-hour window, so gotta make sure, do not forget to do that. Oh, and our tomatoes looks like at three and a half heart, or three and a half stars. So, I mean, based on how well our cucumbers and our strawberries did, it really shouldn't be an issue to raise our summer crops up to five stars. Or summer regrowables, I should say. What is inside? <laughs> Thank you. Lately, I've been unable to meditate. I wonder why. It's strange. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this the part where Amiko starts openly hitting on us in spite of the fact that we're married? Antoinette, I'm looking at you. And you, Daisy. This is not good. It's not good. We're married. We have a child. Why are you doing this? Alright, so... Chen, please, oil. Chen, why? Chen, why? Why? Please, oil. Ah, oh, goodness. Okay, green wonderful is the one that we were looking for, right? Raises the number of batches? No. Actually, we're, it's not. I think it it's yellow, maybe? I forget. Oh my goodness. This is not, not, not the best luck in terms of what's getting sold today. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and pull out those, uh, those Jersey milks, I think. No. We'll wait one more week. One more, well... Okay, no. Uh, we gotta, we gotta actually start selling. Alright. So, Sencha Tea, as you can see, Sencha Tea, in spite of the fact that it uses both Spring Tea and Summer Tea, is actually worth less than Matcha. Just for the cost of the extra processing time. It's slightly more than Pu'er. It, you get slightly more. So it's really not that worth it to make Sencha. You really want to just turn your spring tea leaves into matcha and turn your summer tea leaves into puer, but uh, it's kind of part of the whole 100%ing uh, this game kind of thing we're doing. That uh, I would like to make every windmill recipe at, if it's at all possible. So 40,320 for the one and a half star uh, green bracelet, and then 57,600 for each of the other one. So that's right there. That's three quarters of the way to the high end of the goal. Mm. Wait, actually, I don't know whether that's matcha or sencha tea. Uh, some type of tea. Mm, do I have enough for this matcha tea? How about for half price? You can have it for free. Guess not. <laughs> oh, you can have it for free. What? That's awesome. You're awesome. Thanks a bunch. Yes, now I'm positively viewed by people who like getting things for free. That's always nice. Queer tea. Oh no, don't you it. Yo, Ray, how are things going? Welcome to my shop. Cool, let's hang out. Go away. Welcome to my shop. What a cool greeting. Not. But I guarantee you'll get a lot of customers with that cheesy greeting. Dirk, just stop. Oh, you didn't have enough for the tea, but you had enough for black eggs. Okay. Oh, good. I was just looking for Lloyd Stan. Um, it's the same place it was last week. Antoinette, look, if you if you if you just want to watch me work, you can just say that. Okay. Listen, plenty of women just want to watch me work. Okay. Am I right? You have a lot of things on sale. Do you like running a stall at the bazaar? Yeah, it's fun. 
No, it's not very fun. Why don't you open us all? Well, we're we're still not we still not secured in reputation, so yeah, it's fun. I see. You really work hard at everything you do. I don't hate that about you. Whoosh! I'm an airplane! Stop, that's dangerous. Wow, that looks fun. Knock it off. Stop, that's dangerous. Aw, my mom tells me that all the time too. I'm sorry. Ah, this must ah, this must be the stage for my concert. Hello everyone, come and listen to my performance. Hey, this is a bizarre. Oh, I seem to have made a mistake. I'm so sorry. You She got so lost. Wait. Hold on, was that Nagi? She got so lost looking for the st stage for her concert that she ended up at a bazaar and didn't even realize it. That's gotta be Nagi, right? Hey, this black egg is nice. Can I have it for free? Sorry, no, please pay for it. Oh yeah, this is one is the no. Oh, that's cold, but I respect you for that. I'll be sure to invite you to our next show. Peaches. Oh, no more peaches. Milk. Eggs. So many eggs. And so much milk. Please buy my milk. Right, close the stand. So far you've earned 270,600 G. You've met the gold, that's great. Oh, and Lloyd, are you selling gold? No, of course you're not. But I would like to get some silver, and I would like to get some copper. Maybe 10 silver. And probably like 20 copper. Uh, please, Lloyd, sell gold. I guarantee you it will be a great help to getting to, to making money. Hello there. Welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Is 100 G okay? Sure. Well, this is just a rumor, really. Here's a tip that might be helpful for you, Ray. Did you know that your bell has a certain range in which it can be heard? Try ringing it in different spots and see what happens. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. Okay. So we can only play the Super Lucky Lotto once with silver coins. But that should be fine. Okay then, let's see just how lucky you are. Ano another magic water. We went so long we went so long without magic water, and then now we've gotten two. So, you can see our stamina bar reaches to the top of that hat, top of the sombrero, and now it goes slightly past it. Yay! But that's that's the second magic water now. Oh, hello, welcome to my food stand. Scones, carpaccio, beer. Um, I imagine we can't give that to kids, but we can go ahead and give that to everyone else, I guess. Um, I don't know, 15 probably would be enough. That'll be 13,350 G. Thanks, I'll throw in the recipe for you too. I learned the recipe to put beer in a glass. Oh, I see. Well, stop by any time you're hungry. All right, so we're gonna get some flowers wrapped for Emiko. All right, so we got some flowers wrapped for Emiko. We've got some bronze coins wrapped for Raul and some milk wrapped for Amir. And the first ticket is a brick, okay. Second is another brick. Uh-huh, yeah, we have to rely on our luck. Mm, how's that working out? I mean, we got the magic water, honestly, that's... It's been so long, it took so long to get all of those wrapped that I forgot. But four bricks in a row, oh my goodness. Second place prize. Good butter. You know, we could be making this ourselves if Chen would sell oil. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Welcome, welcome. Would you like our fortune, Red? It's just 100 G. Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra. What a fate lies in wait for you. You should talk to as many people as you can. It will bring you good fortune. 
I mean, I already do. I'm just saying. All right. <gasps> it's the doggo! It's the doggo that we want! All right. Well, first of all, let's see if there's any animals that we want. And no, actually, there aren't any. So the only thing we can get right now are chicks and chickens, and I'm not getting adult silkies, and I'm not getting any of the regular chickens anymore, so... We actually can't get any animals this week, but we can go ahead and get a pet. Yes. And as for what we will name this doggo, well, of course, we are going to name it... Pupper. Yes, Pupper is okay. All right, so that's that's the last of the pets. I see. Well, I hope you come back soon. We will for animals next week for chickens, but not for any pets. Welcome to my cafe. Uh, herb spaghetti. Oh, you know what? That actually might be um a uh, Marion's favorite dish. I guess we'll see. Is 18,000 G okay? Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hey. And what are you. Ooh, that looks new on the left. Fish and chips and Capri salad. Alright. We'll get 20 fish and chips. That comes to 18,200 G. Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. And that actually might be Felix's favorite dish. I guess we'll see. He also might, you know, like beer. Capri salad. I think this is actually a horror gift for somebody. And uh, so if it is, if I'm correct in my memory, then we'll go ahead and be able to see what it looks like when you give somebody a horror gift. But for now, let's go ahead and sell this <laughs> this good butter. It costs 1500 G to to play the lucky lotto and we we're getting 800 G back. Gambling doesn't pay kids, remember. Jersey cow butter. Eggs. The best eggs you ever you ever taste. 5 stars. 5 stars. Who's giving us these stars, by the way? Is there an official egg rating board? And they're just like, yeah, your eggs are the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. Alright, and that's all. So far you've earned 276,640G. You've met the goal, that's great, okay. So let's have ourselves a little... Okay. Well, that's it for the bazaar today! Thank you everyone for coming! I hope we'll see you all again next time! Alright, so let's see... Uh, let's have some fish and chips today, shall we? Ah, delicious. Alright, and then we will... have some, We will pass out some herb salad. Good evening, Ray. All done with work for the day? Oh, herb spaghetti! It looks wonderful! Thanks, Ray. So yes, Marion's favorite dish is herb spaghetti, as predicted. Did not actually know that. I just know that she likes everything with herbs, and so I figured it was probably the case. How is married life? They do say that there's nothing more important than family. Okay, yes, but do you have anything to say about the bazaar? Listen, you have repeated yourself three times. I can appreciate the sentiment. You're a very hard worker. I'm sure that everyone in town feels like they can depend on you. Well, maybe. You look so much happier these days, Ray. I guess married life is treating you right. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Turk is like whispering this in my ear. It's very, very awkward. You look so much happier these days, Ray. I guess married life is treating you right. <laughs> Listen, just tell me what you think about the bazaar. I always like talking to you, right? Is that why... It's like we really get each other. Is that why you kept repeating yourself? Why you repeated yourself like five or six times with that? And so that I'd stick around and talk to you more? Oh my goodness. All of these doggos. All of these cats. We are at max capacity for pets right now, by the way. 
Let's see, whose birthday is it this week that I forgot? It's Dirk's birthday. Oh, that's why we had the beetle with us. Because I was supposed to get it wrapped. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners in third place with 138,000 G! Claire, congratulations! In second place with 174,000 G! Jones Store, congratulations! And in first place with 276,640G! Ray, congratulations! That's great, Ray. I'll visit your store. And the person with the happiest customers was... Ray! Customers tell me that your store has a great range of unique products! And we managed to get that without giving away a single... Wait, no. No, we did. We did give away one thing to Dirk. You hold in the town proud. Keep up the good work. Hmm? You're in the top three and you have the best reputation. Fantastic! I'm awarding you this prize for your efforts. An orange tea can. A goal to be the best bazaar in the world is now... Closer than ever. Let's work together to get this done. Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G. We can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. I think we're like uh, more than three quarters of the way to 100% uh, uh, in the bazaar. From, from actually from from 75% to 100%. Good morning. Let's make today a great one. This herb salad is my favorite. I'm really touched that you remembered, honey. All right. Now let's not forget the eggs today. And the Tao Trio should be fine with being ignored for one day. Yes. But you... We need to stethoscope our chickens at least once every other day. And ideally, we do it every day and only skip if absolutely necessary. Unfortunately, it would be a great time saver if they could just be happy with spending time outside, but apparently not. Oh, hey, look! Um, another one of our, another one of our uh, sheep grew up. I don't remember, or two actually, two of our sahooks are now fully grown. Uh, two more, I should say. So isn't that nice? And that's how you get somebody to like you. And then here's Diego congratulating us on having five dogs somehow. Re, I'm coming in. Oh no, Enrique. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, well done. You've got five dogs. I'm sure they'll be a big help on your farm. Ho, ho, ho. Take good care of them. And that, and that's it. The, the. It's so random. It's it's so random. Like why? And yes, I'm sure they will be. They already have been. Because they don't have to take out every single cow and every single sheep. That would be like impossible. That would be an utter disaster for me to try and do. And so yes, the dogs are very helpful. But why are you coming by and congratulating me? on having five dogs. Oh, and Isaac, say, Isaac, you would love some caprice salad, right? Good morning, Ray. You're looking well today. Yep, because of this caprice salad, you should try some. Wow, it's the thing I hate most in the world. Are you trying to make me mad? Uh, so yes, that is, uh, that is the horror gift for, for Isaac, is caprice salad. Hmm. Oh, it's you, good morning. This is for me? Uh, thanks. So that's the kind of response you get from 
give in somebody a horror gift. Oh, good morning. You have to work. Oh, thanks. So, this is why, by the way, you don't experiment with uh, with gifts uh, on people's birthdays. Because if you accidentally give them their horror gift, you will lose a lot of friendship with them. And we're going to go ahead and practice. We're going to try and practice every day, except maybe bizarre days. I'm about to... Oh. Wait, what? Is this... Ray? We're coming in. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> well done! You got ten pets! Your farm is really the best. Yeah, you're the man. <laughs> Be good care of them. Yeah, they can help you a lot on the, your farm. See you later. Oh, random! That is honestly and truly so random, and I don't... <sighs> Good morning. Let's make today a great one. This herb salad is my favorite. I'm really touched that you remembered, honey. I don't understand why those events about the pets exist. It doesn't make any sense to me. Here, Angelo, have an egg. May I offer you an egg in these trying times? Trust me, you're gonna need it in like 10 minutes. Well, thank you very much. And into the cafe we go. <laughs> Hello, Angelo, how are you? Hello. <laughs> I'm here to eat. Sure thing. Give us a minute. We'll prepare you a fantastic omelet rice. Really? That's great. <laughs> Hello. Boy, I'm famished. Hello there, Claire. Is that something you'd like to eat? I guess the same thing that Angelo is having. You like the omelet rice too? Well, if you're having it, then it must be good. Mm. <laughs> well, this seems to be the spot today. Hello, Nelly. What can I get for you? The omelette rice that Angelo is having? Mm, yes, that sounds perfect. <laughs> my, my, you've got a full house. Hello, Ethel. Well, isn't this rare? I just wanted to get out of the hotel for a bit. So, Angelo, how are things going with the ladies? I'll bet you've got lots of gossip to share. You wouldn't hold out on us, would you? That would just be rude. No, um, uh... Oh, good. Then tell us all about it. Yeah, tell us everything. We had a ton of business today. You must be tired, Angelo. Thanks for hanging in there. Man, that was exhausting. I feel so sorry for poor Angelo. He just comes to relax at the cafe and then, nope, all these, all these older women want to harass him and ask him for very, very personal details about his love life, and it's like, that's... that's not okay. Good morning, Ray. Let's work hard today. Oh, Herb spaghetti. It looks wonderful. 
Thanks, Ray. Welcome to Zafa Cafe. Ice cream. Ooh. And egg rice. All very tempting, but... I think I will just have an early lunch of an egg rice bowl. Mmm. Delicious. Actually, I certainly wouldn't mind it if Raul said that he... that this was... For me, he thinks. But apparently not. Not Raul's favorite thing. For some reason, there's something in the back of my mind that makes me think, yeah, fish and chip is fish and chips is somebody's favorite dish, but I don't know what it is that's making me think that. Because I can't really think of anyone who would have that as their favorite dish, except for Felix, and I'm pretty sure Felix's favorite dish is like some sort of wine or something. Hi, Ray. How are you doing? Oh, how nice. Thank you, Ray. So no, not Felix's favorite dish, and I think the only one... Okay, so it's Claude, Freya, and the girls that we have yet to to give the fish and chips to, and I, I really can't imagine it being... I mean, I know it's not Freya's, but yeah. Thank you. This is nice. Yeah, so fish and chips, um... Not liked by only a couple, I think. I think it's really just Amir and Ethel. I mean, of the ones that we gave it to, but... Um... Maybe Joan? I forget. Anyway, um, otherwise liked by pretty much everybody, but not particularly loved by anyone, so... I don't know what my mind was saying with fish and chips being somebody's favorite dish, but that was certainly not the case. I don't really have anything in particular to say about what went down this episode, but that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your day is a good one. And I hope to see you later. Bye.